I don't like to rip into other people's business models. You know, that, that's not my style. Everyone's got their own way of doing things and you know, if one business model is not better than another business model, they're, they're just different. But I did come across a situation last week from one of our agents that um, it, it really stuck in my craw and that's why I'm mentioning it today. Uh, there's a, a brokerage out there and it's a national brokerage. I don't think this is the national policy, but it's a, um, you know, one of the franchise owners has come up with this rock bottom pricing for their clients. And what they're doing is when they're sitting down with their clients or where they're talking to their clients about a price reduction, they run another net sheet out, but they do not include the buyer's rep side of the commission. You know, whatever the payout would have been, they, they take that out of the equation so that the net sheet looks better by working with this company than with any other company because there's no payout to the other agent. And when they put it into MLS, they, the commission paid out is $1. One stinking dollar. So what they're doing is counting on, you know, one, the fact that as real estate agents, your commission should not matter whether you're showing this property or not. You know, what we get paid should have no bearing on um, if we show or don't show this property. And I know there's some people out there who, who see it differently, but um, you know, this is the way we, we approach it. So in effect, what they're doing is making the selling agent negotiate with the seller about getting a commission. And, you know, this brokerage is saying, well, we prepped you now our seller to, to expect that you're going to come in and, and expect some compensation, but there's no guarantee that, uh, you know, that seller is going to pay you out what you think you're worth. And you, and again, you can't throw your client over because you're not getting paid and they're, and they're counting on this. Um, so what happens is, you know, you, you see it, you show the house, you want to present your offer and you need to negotiate with the seller for your commission. And if they say no, and again, you know, you're halfway down the road, you have to go ahead with this transaction. So it's, it's, it's really not fair in my mind to the, to the selling agent to have to negotiate for their own commission. And, and secondly, and probably even more um, unethical in my mind, is the fact that this brokerage is misleading their client, saying that um, here's uh, on your net sheet, you're going to make more money by listing with me than by listing with another company. And, and you know, I, I think that's crap because they're building into it that one way or another, uh, the selling agent is going to get paid and have to negotiate it in. Um, and the thing about purchase agreements, and I've talked to Don Smith with the, the legal hotline on this, is that purchase agreements are not the place to be talking about commissions. And that's why we've, you know, this is between brokerage to brokerage. And the MLS is the pretty much the guaranteed contract. It's an implied contract. If you put in, you know, a 2.7% or whatever number you put in, you know, you're guaranteeing that you're going to be paying the other uh, the other company that much money. So, you know, in a case like this, there is no guarantee. So what to do about it? You know, I really don't know. I, I know it, it, it irritates me because they're, it's being un unethical to the selling agent. It's unethical to, uh, to the sellers because they've got expecta expectations which are not going to be met. And the whole thing to me just, um, it just stinks. <laughs>